Hey guys, it's Cam. I've got an exciting video for you guys. Um, I bought this plain fabric suit. I got this really nice plain yellow fabric suit. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transform this into a really nice Punjabi designer suit. I'm gonna show you how I cut and stitch it. So this is gonna be really exciting. Any questions you have, please leave a comment down below in the section here. Um, and make sure to like and subscribe. I'm gonna get straight into the video, let's go. So um, I've got this yellow piece of fabric here. Now, as you can see, it is literally very plain. There's nothing to it. And I've got about three and a half meters here. Completely plain, love it, love the yellow color. It's really nice and bright and it's really good quality. Um, now I'm gonna talk through step by step on how I created an Indian suit. This is the opening and then this is the close. So I've left it open here. So it's now folded in once and now I'm gonna fold it again. I'm gonna use around about a meter, a meter and a half here. Well, not really a meter, a meter and a half. And I folded it four times, so as you can see, this is the opening, that's the close, but both sides, these are the close here. So I folded it once, and then I folded it twice. I've got my shoulder length, my front neck, back neck, um, you know, my waist, hip, full length, everything on here. So you're going to want to make sure that you measure yourself first, or whoever you're sewing a suit for. Um, so my shoulder length is 15, so you want to half that, which is 7.5. So you want to mark off 7.5 straight away. And then my length of my neck, what I want really is to be around about 6.5. So mark off 6.5. Now on average, a lot of people have their length 6.5 to 7, 7.5. So anywhere between that, depending on what you want, I'm, I'm going to go for um, 6.5. Right, and then this will meet together with this. Draw out the full length of your suit, how long you want it. Now I've written on here that I want 40 inches. So what I'm going to do is draw out 40 inches exactly from the top to the bottom. I want it to be 40 inches, which is over here. The reason why I put this here is just so the fabric doesn't move. So 40 and then you're going to want to add another two inches. So from the chest to my waist is seven inches. Um, my hip, normally I go for 13, but today I'm going to do 12 inches because what I want, where the slit is on the side, so like the jog, I want it to be a bit more higher just so it gives a nicer finish. Exact same on the other side, that's going to be 7, that's going to be 12 inches and then, and then draw a line here. We are going to measure the width. So my chest is 32, so that's going to be 8 inches. like so and then my um, waist is 28 inches so divide that by four is seven that's another line and at the same time add an extra two inches so normally for loosing just in case i want to make it looser i tend to add an extra two inches on the waist if you want to add pleats make a line at one inch as well i'll explain later why and then at the hip Mine is 38 inches, divide that by 4, which is 9.5. Now what you're going to want to do is draw, match all these lines. There we are. And then from the waist to the hip, to the bottom of the sleeve. Now these lines are very helpful if you draw it out beforehand because it makes your sewing so much more easier. I remember when I sewed suits the first time, I used to be quite lazy, not drawing out the um, lines. And then I found out how important it is and it slowed me down quite a lot. So this makes the process so much more faster. Now what I'm gonna do is show you how to draw a neckline. Now forget what this is. It was just um, a sample that I was doing. So from here, actually let me just, Put a line so you don't get confused. So from here, we're going to do four inch width. 
and then also add an extra inch and then we're also going to do the length 8.2 inches so right there now the length for that will be 7.3 and then you're going to also want to do 4 inches that way and 7.3 that way 7.3 there and then you're just going to line it up together like so and then what I'm going to do is create sort of like a curve so from here I'm going to do like a corner sort of curve and then go up so it'll be like that There we are, perfect. So forget that bit, this bit. So this is the correct one. So what I've done at six inches is where I started the curve and then curved it round. So it's like a sharp edge, which will look really nice on. And then from there, you're gonna to want to put about an inch. I mean, you can do half an inch. It doesn't really matter, but I tend to stick with an inch. It just looks very nice once sewn on okay and then you're just going to want to straighten it out so what i've done i have done the front neckline and the back neckline so I've added some paper pasting on top of a cloth and then ironed it and attached it. Then I'm going to show you how I stitch it on the actual suit. Now I'm not done anything onto the suit yet, apart from add on some pleats. If you want to see a video on how I stitch the pleats on, including like some measurements and stuff, I can do that in another video. After stitching the neckline, what you're going to want to do is grab the front side of the suit, so just one side, and then you're going to grab the front neckline, which I'm sure is that one. Yeah. So this is the front neckline, and you're going to want to put this right side up, so the wrong side is going to be down, and then the wrong side is going to be facing upwards so you want the right side and the right side facing the exact same way yep so the middle stitch is just to put it in place after you cut it it's going to be off anyways so just make sure, when, if you are a beginner, you do this very slowly and um, carefully because you don't want to ruin your suit. Okay, and then next what you want to do is sew all the way around here and then what we're going to do after is cut it. So let's just quickly sew the sides. And you're going to want to go right next to the bookram so you don't want it to be on top of it, you want it to be next to it because when you flip it over, you want it to just hit the line. 
I'll zoom in just so you can see more closely. A little tip when you are attaching both the shoulders, so you want to get the front side of the suit, so make sure that the back of the front, so the back of the right side is facing up and then the wrong side is facing this way and then you've got the front of the suit and you've got the wrong side facing towards you and the right side facing down, so it should look something like this so that's the wrong side as you can see with all the chalk marks that's the wrong side inwards is the right side now when you are attaching and sewing the shoulders together what you're going to want to do is make sure that it connects together and then you're going to want to bring the front to the back sew it back around as well just to make sure that it is attached properly and then you want to do the other neckline 